this is Sierra from the Loader Rad Group, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my horse Copper's recovery process. Um, so, if you didn't watch my last couple of videos, I can't remember which one, but I did talk about how Copper was injured from an abscess on his hoof. Um, so go watch that one if you haven't already. Um, but basically, he had an abscess. Here's Copper. He had an abscess on his right front hoof um it started to um it broke on like the third or fourth day of soaking it in epsom salt so we are no longer soaking it he's no longer wearing a little boot um and he's going out to the pasture he's not on star rest anymore and that's the important thing is that he's healing like she is he's come quite a long ways um but when he first injured it, his knee, <laughs> Copper, no, the camera's not food, but um, when he first injured it, he thought, um, the vet thought that it could be a tendon too. <laughs> Copper, <laughs> stop. <laughs> um, just because of how swollen, <laughs> just um, because of how swollen his leg was, and um, it wasn't a tendon, it was just an access. So, <laughs> um, he's not limping very much anymore, he will gallop across the pasture no problem, he, he's a little stiff in the trot, but considering um, when it drains from the top of the hoof it is extremely painful, but he has come quite a long way. So next weekend we are going to start um, not jumping him, but doing some flat work just to work up any muscle that he's sort of lost in the two weeks time. So, but it is visible where um, the abscess broke. There's a, like, right here. That is where it burst. So, um, he's not limping anymore on it. He um, is walking fine. He's a little stiff in the trot. It's not a limp, it's just stiffness. Um, he's still getting one full scoop of recovery every single day. He got that earlier this morning and then I take him on a little bit of a walk just to get that blood flowing. So he is doing quite well, um, but my horse Toad has gotten quite jealous of him in the last month or two just because I was riding him instead of Toad and he's getting special treatment now. So, but he has come quite a far ways from where he was. His leg isn't swollen anymore and he's doing quite well. So I'm probably going to go take him on a walk soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but he's no longer on Butte. I believe in the video where I talked about Copper's injury that I, he was on Butte at that time. Because for the first week he was on Butte, and but he's no longer on it. Buddy, <laughs> I don't have kids. But he was, he's still no longer on it. Um, he was at the time though, but he has healed up quite a bit and he probably gets another week to two weeks off before we will start taking him back to jumping lessons. Now obviously before we do that he will have a couple of flat work sessions just to make sure that um, he's done healing so that's probably in next week's time so I might make a video on that. But yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go take off on a walk, so let's go. <laughs>
was right behind me and um, he was doing he did amazing on the walk my dad took a couple little clippets of me so I'll show you guys that and um, <laughs> sorry he's yawning um, but so um, basically I'm sort of just gonna talk about like what we were doing when he had the abscess while it was draining before it started draining and after so um, he was getting recovery mix once a day. He was getting uh, some butte when it started draining, right before it started draining, just because abscesses are very painful and they show up very fast. So um, it's like if you got an abscess on the inside of your foot and you had to can, like irritate it to make it go away. So that would be pretty painful. And um, so it got to the point where when it was like draining, where he like didn't want to walk on it he was like, limping pretty bad on it so we text the vet and the vet said okay just put him on stall rest so we put him on stall rest and um he was very antsy in the stall because toad wasn't in there all day with him so he was getting he wasn't getting walks at that time just because he needed to rest like his movement needed to be restricted so um when he was on stall rest he was getting Epsom salt soaks about once a day and when he was when it stopped draining we wanted to make sure that it was 110% stopped draining so we did soak it twice a day not every day but every now and then we soaked it twice um, and we also would have to soak it twice a day sometimes because he didn't like standing in the bucket a whole lot so he'd kick it over sometimes and then we'd have to go back inside get and fix him a new bucket and come back out try again um, so he was pretty bad for that if he couldn't see Toad or if Toad moved out of eyesight, he'd kick the bucket over and he'd get everywhere. But once we got to a routine of where he could see Toad, um, he was pretty good with standing in the bucket. And we put one of those um, poultice pad, I think it's what it's called, and it has some sort of acid, I'm forgetting the name, but it has some acid in it that helps draw out the infection. And it just also keeps um, the abscess from getting infected and, you know, gross again. So he was getting, um, he was, the poultice pad was getting put on once a day. And then um, after it stopped burst, after it finished draining for good, he started walking like normal again. He wasn't limping. He was a little stiff and tried to get a little bit of a limp at that point. And, um, He's still getting, he was, and he is still now getting recovery once a day, one full scoop. And um, so that's really, really good. He's not um, limping too much, and that's basically where we are at now. He's not limping in the trot, it's just a little stiff for the first two, three steps into the, and then he's fine. Um, he's also been feeling his oats the last couple of days. He's been. He already ripped his neck piece on his blanket and we've only had it on him for about two three weeks and he already ripped it so we got to get that stitched and then today or tomorrow we have to go pick up another one of the blankets that he demolished um, so he's been feeling he's been feeling his oats he's been definitely acting like himself compared to when um, he was injured when he was injured he wasn't himself he w didn't he wasn't as quirky as he usually was and he sometimes just and even now like the recovery still has a little bit of taste in the grain and he'll still eat it but when we had the butte in his grain he would not eat it my other horse toad who eats everything would not eat it so um we just had to syringe it into his mouth because we tried normal rolled oats with it wouldn't eat that we tried a little bit of beet pulp with um it wouldn't eat it. We tried rolled oats with molasses, still wouldn't eat it. So he was a pain in the butt when it came to giving him butte. And uh, no, my hair is not good. Um, but he is doing quite well now. He's still getting the recovery. Um, he's getting one scoop of recovery um, a day. He's going to be on that pretty much every single day. So pretty good with taking the recovery. He's never really refused it. I'm sure there still is a taste, but him and Toad eat it no problem. So that is really good, and that's pretty much his recovery process. Um, I was really worried for a while that he was going to um, keep
much, like you wouldn't get better for a really long time, but um, it's just one of those things that gets worse before it gets better, and um, the vet said that, and I, I didn't really believe her on that because that's not the case in all things, but that was definitely the case this time. So um, I'm really thankful that he's recovering really, really well now. So he's going to go back to lessons in a couple of weeks to a month's time, which I'm super excited about that. I've definitely missed riding him. So um, in his lessons, I'll definitely have to bring you guys along, kind of log a lesson for you guys because lessons are my favorite type of the week. And Copper, um, he's not a fan of being ridden. He's not a fan of being sweaty, but he was really, really trying hard in English. He's just one of those horses that if you ask him to do something, he's going to try 110%, where my other horse, Toad, will do everything in his power to get out of doing the work, where Copper's a complete opposite, but um, yeah, Copper's doing really well, and that's pretty much it for today's video, so please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon on a new one. Bye!